Hi everyone, so sorry it's been such a long time since my last video. Um, I don't think I've ever actually filmed a video in my new flat. We've actually been living here for about... Yeah, you'll hear my daughter screaming my name because she seems to have this thing screaming mummy constantly. So just ignore that. But um, we've been living here for... Uh, I don't even know, a few months? definitely a couple of months now which is crazy because it's just gone so quick so I just wanted to sort of update on my channel like where I've been what I've been up to how I'm feeling how my kids are and so kind of like an update for everything really um so we've been really busy because my sister-in-law just got married so we've been I mean I haven't been planning it or anything but there's been a lot of like you know with weddings there's a lot of planning there's a lot of hype and um my daughter was flower girl as well, so we had, I don't know, it's just been filling my head with um, all wedding stuff. And I'm really glad both mine and her weddings are over just because I feel like there's no more major planning to do for anything. Um, we can just take a relax. We can take a relax. We can take some time to just relax and chill out and kind of live our lives and not be, you know, this has got to be done, this has got to be done, this has got to be done, because I feel like I've just been going insane since June. Well, since the beginning of the year, really, it's just been one of those years where it's just been um, crazy. And I'm ready to just take some time to just de-stress, because I feel like I'm just been so stressed. bad this year. Um, I just think it's got worse and worse as the year's gone on. Um, I'm not really sure why. I think it's, yeah, definitely due to the wedding, diff definitely due to moving, um, just everything, really. There's been a couple of other stuff that I've been dealing with, like, that's been on my mind. I'm not really sure what is going on or what. To really class it as whether it's something to worry about or something to not worry about or, but as you can see from the title of this video um i feel like i don't know for sure whether this is, has been happening to me um i definitely know one time it did happen to me um i basically had a chemical pregnancy in april and i remember it was seven weeks before our wedding and i was really 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 kind of fretting because obviously six weeks before seven weeks before the wedding you don't really want to be really sick um so i was really nervous about that um we weren't trying or anything like that it basically like we say we weren't trying but we weren't we're not using anything at the moment we're not on birth control or on pill or anything like that we're not using condoms or anything because we just hate them i just feel like they're just not comfortable things and basically I know it exactly when I ovulate because I, since having my daughter I've been getting or I've had ovulation pain so I know exactly when I ovulate and oh. I take ovulation tests so I might even stop doing that because I feel like the stress of tests are just getting to me at the moment but that's, that's um, something I'm going to talk about as well and so yeah it's just been it was just a bit crazy because I took tests and um, I ended up like ovulating earlier than I thought so obviously we did the deed and then a few days later I actually ovulated I think it was the day after actually I got positive and I thought I'd already ovulated so fast forward like I ended up keep, kept taking tests and they were just really really faint and they were definitely there but it was very faint and then I ended up getting a first response and that was really really faint as well so at that point when I don't get a first response a strong first response test i'm like okay i'm gonna lose this this isn't this isn't you know this isn't, this isn't gonna be a viral um, and i did feel really really sad about it because we were getting married i had so much going on in my in my on my mind i was living in my other flat in quite a nice little place like previous videos i've mentioned that um two kids look after the wedding moving you know plans like that everything was kind of happening so I was kind of not sad, but sad as well because we de we definitely want to have a baby. Um, things that aren't easy at the moment. It's a bit difficult. Like when we really want to try try for another baby, but we 100% definitely definitely want more kids. Um, I definitely want either three or four. Three is like the minimum. Four is the maximum. So yeah, depending on whether we can have a fourth. But I definitely want a third and. Previously, when Max was younger, we always sort of said that we would wait until he was between 10 months to a year. 
So between September this year to December. Um, yeah, between December, September to December. Um, we thought that we would try again because, you know, I'm older. We're a couple of years older. We don't know if it's going to be easier. I'm, I kind of, even though we conceived both my daughter, my daughter was in it within three months, I think. My son was, was, it was kind of like a surprise that we did do it the day of ovulation and I was having pain so I thought I really wanted another one so obviously I got pregnant. Um, so very, very quickly and I always worried that with the third we wouldn't be so lucky. I've always had this feeling that we wouldn't be as lucky with a third baby. So I kind of, we kind of thought we'll give it a range of time to try and then we'd start trying, trying and, if, and obviously previous to that we've literally not used anything, we've not prevented it but we've not been trying if that makes sense so um, whenever I do know I'm ovulating we refrain from anything um, and I know sperm can like live in your body for like five days but which is what I'm coming to this month um, so this month I think April I had the chemical pregnancy last month I think I I don't know if I had one my period was like a day or two late but I can't I think I did get one or two extremely faint positives, but again, I'm not really sure if they're very, very faint where I have to hold them in every direction to see the line. I don't really feel like that's a positive, like, but I did, I do feel like it may have been a chemical because I did see a couple of dark, um, faint, really, really faint lines, but they were there, like I could see them on my phone. Um, I suspect, I can't confirm, but I suspect I've had two, I had another one, um, I had one in April, one in May, no, one in April, uh, one in July, um, and then other times, like, like obviously, when I've known I was ovulating, we've refrained from anything, and then I think we've had two months where I've actually known where I was ovulating, and I didn't, we didn't try, um, which leads me to talk about this month now, um, August. So, we normally only really get around to it three times to four times a month, so like once a week pretty much, sometimes two to three times a month, um, which obviously isn't enough for TTC, and if you're trying for a baby that's not enough, it needs to be that a week basically, two to three times a week, which seems insane because I'm just so tired all the time with two kids. <laughs> um, but so this time around when I ovulated, I ovulated quite early, it was um, cycle day 16 and we, the last time that we did anything was three days before, so I ovulated on Saturday, my cycle day was on the Saturday, 16 was on the Saturday and then I, it was three days before on the Wednesday and then before that it was a Sunday, so obviously that would be too far in the past to actually, you know, sperm to live for six odd days, I think that's quite rare. So yeah, it was um, three days before and I kind of, and we didn't do it any time after that. And when I knew I was ovulating, we didn't do it because again, we weren't trying. We weren't thinking about trying until September. We definitely decided in September to try. Um, so like definitely make an effort to try and get pregnant. Um, and so far I have, I'm on cycle day 28 at the moment and I've taken a first response. I've taken loads of those cheap tests, just remind a little bit, I, last month I got really obsessed with the cheap tests, I started taking them from like 7 to days past ovulation to 8 days past ovulation and it was ridiculous because obviously I'm going to get a negative and I went a bit nuts because when you get those cheap tests they come in packs of like 30, I think I've got a pack of 30 and there's just so many, so I'm literally, I saw them calling to me from the bathroom like, <coughs> take me, you know you want to take me, and it's so, like, with my, I'm quite, I get quite addicted to things, so, I kind of got a bit obsessed, and I actually got really upset when it, nothing really happened, um, I, like I said, I think I may have had a chemical, because I did get a couple of very faint lines, but then, obviously, it disappeared, and then, um, I always confirm it with a 
first response, whether it's true or not. Um, and it was negative, the first response was negative. So it may have been a tiny, tiny line, if that's even possible. But no, I don't, I don't think, it definitely wasn't viable. I think it was um, possibly a chemical, possibly I wasn't even pregnant. It was just m my eyes were just playing tricks. I said me. that I wouldn't do that this month. I ended up buying a pack of 30 the cheap test again, uh, but I cancelled it and I asked for my money back because I wanted to cancel my order. I didn't want to go through that again um, and I got my money back but they still delivered them so I still had a pack of 30 pregnancy tests in the cupboard so guess what this month I've actually done exactly the same as last month I've been testing like crazy not not from I think my first test was eight based off their question which is better than seven because you can get a positive for eight days it depends on your implant when you need an egg implant and I've basically taken my last I've thrown half of them away because obviously I didn't pay for them so I'm not wasting money because I got money back but it just makes me so mentally like crazy taking these tests and then not seeing anything and because you want something so bad you're seeing lines like I'm seeing lines and it's happened again like I've had symptoms I felt sick I've had bloating it's not all in my head because sometimes I don't even think about it and it's still happening like I still feel sick I still I've been so hungry so I I'm thinking, and I have, the past few days I have had like very, 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 very faint positives, light positives, where I've had, um, only yesterday I think, the rest of the time has all been negative, um, and today I ordered some, uh, well yesterday I ordered some first response, took one today and it was negative, um, I thought there was a very faint line, but it ended up, I think it was a indent line, which has put me off the first response test now, because it's like, the back of it, when you take it apart, at the back of it, there's like an indent line, which shows through. Not helpful, really not. And I don't, I feel like that's rubbish because, I mean, obviously, it's there because to soak in the HCG, but then it, it, it really screws with you if you're trying to okay. baby and you're not pregnant and you're seeing this line. Okay. Um, so I'm really I've put off them now, to be honest. I feel, I feel like I'm put off from every pregnancy test. I'm put off from the cheapies, I'm put off from the best response. And I know if I'm not pregnant, I'm not pregnant, we're not trying. But I can't help but feel really, really kind of down. I don't know, a lot of it's my anxiety. It makes, like, all logic kind of goes from my head. And people have to, like, talk to me and be like, like, we haven't been trying, you know. If we really want to try, we're going to try next month. I just got away from my period, which is another thing about the chemicals. Your period is yeah, you know, not if, um your baby is needed. Um, so yeah, I think what we are going to do is we're going to definitely start trying next month. And no baby. I know. Oh. Oh. What are you doing? Oh, you jumpy, jumpy. You're full of beans. You're full of beans. Look, who's that? Who's this boy? Is this boy? Let's see, no. Who's that? This is gorgeous, baby. Hey, look how big you are. Oh, you're so big. You're so big. Yes. Yes, so I am going to go and see to my kids. Um, but yeah, I hope this isn't, hasn't really been a very good update. It's mainly been about my possible pregnancies, fertility type of thing. So yeah, I will do another video on updating on how the kids are. But that's basically where my head's been at the moment with the weddings and just weird body stuff going on. I'm not really sure what is going on or what's happening. Um, I think I'm really desperate for another one. And... I would love to have another one, but obviously because we're not trying, I'm still kind of hoping that I do get pregnant. Um, but it's, you know, the odds are against us because we're not trying enough. We're not like making, we're not maximizing our chances basically. Um, and I'm kind of expecting myself to get pregnant like that because it's happened in the past. But obviously every pregnancy is different. Your body changes as you get older as well, so. You know, I'm over 30 now, so I know that doesn't really mean that I can't have kids because obviously lots of people in their 30s have kids. But yeah, 
But yeah, so I will talk to you in my next video.